Hi folks, Chris Anderson with Mount Comfort RV, just on the outskirts of Indianapolis, Indiana. Uh, today we're going to do something a little different. Uh, normally I like to do the great big diesel pushers and all that, but I think my boss wants me out of my comfort zone, so here I am. Um, this is a Chesapeake, 2017 Chesapeake from Somerset. Now, there's a lot of pop-ups out there, and there's not a lot that separates most of them. Um, you know, we, we carry the Palo, uh, Palomino pop-ups from Forest River, but you know, a Rockwood, a Starcraft, a Jayco, probably some other names that aren't coming to mind right now, they're all built about the same, and you're not going to find things remarkably different about them. This is a different animal from, from the get-go. The Somerset product line um, really is completely different in construction, um, the ruggedness of it. Um, they, they tend to be a little more expensive, so you know if you're looking for the cheapest and the lightest out there, eh, this probably isn't the pop-up for you. If you're looking for the best built, now there's something we can talk about. Let's uh, get into this a little bit. First thing, uh, everybody else uses vinyl right here, all over the place. Now they use some vinyl down here, and this is double reinforced down here, but um, this is a product called Sunbrella 302. It's a double stitched, uh, breathable product. It won't wick like uh, um, canvas does, so yes, if it's raining outside and you touch it on the inside, it's not gonna start dripping on you or anything. Um, but it is breathable, where most of these, they're 100% vinyl, um, and so when you have it zipped up on a, on a rainy night, and you don't have the screens open or anything, um, it's like being wrapped in saran wrap. You're gonna sweat. So a um, little, little better, a uh, little better setup here. Little things um, like when you're setting this up, these poles. They're not just thrown on the inside, they actually attach, they're hinged to the underneath side of this bunk. Um, so you always know which pole goes where because it never really leaves its spot um, and you're not going to lose a pole and you're not trying to put the front pole on the back deck or anything like that. So that's, a, that's another nice little feature there. You do have the front wheel so you can push this around as well. Now let's get into some mechanical things. Probably the most significant one is the lift system on here. This lift system is made out of uh, stainless steel. The pulleys, cables, everything, not gonna rust. Um, and the most significant part about this is, unlike other pop-ups, um, if a lift on here fails, if a single lift fails, you know what happens? Nothing. The other three still lift it up, the other three let it down. If a cable breaks on here, you know what happens? Nothing, it still works, the system still works. Um, those other pop-ups we mentioned, the cable that when you're cranking them up, they got that steel cable that goes back through there. You know what happens if that breaks? The whole thing comes down. Um, if, it, if it breaks um, and you haven't really gotten it cranked up yet, it will not crank up. Your vacation's over, your trip is ruined, it's done. Um, there's nothing you can do about it. That's why those other brands come with that little metal sleeve, uh, a couple of them that you put over, the, uh, over these tracks out here, just in case the cable breaks while you're using it, it doesn't smash down on you. Um, it's not a pleasant thought, but that's exactly why they make those things. Um, with this system, um, it, you, you crank this up from the rear, there's a spline that goes through there that pulls these individually. Um, and if one fails, your, your system still works just fine. Um, the odds of one failing being all stainless steel aren't, aren't real great anyway, but just in case, it's good to know. Secondly, um, on those other units, I don't know if you've noticed, they have that flap that goes over this. It's part of the vinyl uh, tent here, and they actually use a flap to go over this product. Well, why do they do that? Well, they do that to keep water out, because if water gets down in here, you know, it's gonna run down inside that track system there. Well, number one, that's not good when you're dealing with um, products that are less than stainless steel. Um, number two, those lift systems are mounted inside of the box. So you're getting water penetration into your pop-up camper. This lift system is mounted on the outside of the box. If water gets down through there, you know what happens? It runs out on the ground. It just goes right down through there, comes out down here, runs out on the ground, no harm, no foul. So just some better things by design. Um, by the way, it's not a new system. Um, this is something that Coleman was doing back in the 90s when Fleetwood was building Coleman. It was the best pop-up ever. Um, and, and unfortunately, they're not building that anymore. So uh, Somerset came along and said, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna use some of their ideas and, and bring it back to life. That is what you're looking at right here. Even a lot of the names are the same, Chesapeake, Utah, that type of thing. So you'll see that throughout the, throughout the line. Um, the other great idea here is the stepper door. Number one, that's a much firmer step, easier to use than that little flimsy pull-out step that you see on a lot of them. Number two, it's good security. Um, when this is up, this becomes your door, okay? When this is up and locked, nobody can 
can open this door so when you go away from your camper you don't just have this little flimsy lock right here you actually have a, a door that's going to make it a lot more difficult somebody's gonna have to make a lot more noise to get into your pop-up obviously when you're covered in canvas and vinyl if somebody wanted to get in bad enough it can happen but it's just one more layer of security there it does it does make it very very nice this is riveted right here this is extruded aluminum a lot of people use plastic here a lot of times you're going to have a a caulked seam right there instead of one piece this is to prevent leaks when the unit is closed the top comes down and sets right here water doesn't run uphill when this unit is closed it is watertight and that's a that's a big thing on here you come around to the back you can see your poles here same as the front poles they're actually attached to this bottom deck here so when they snap up they snap up now that's not a laminated piece of fiberglass problem with lamination is it can delaminate um, this i will give you a lifetime no delamination guarantee on this because that's not laminated in the first place so it can't be it's kind of built like a car door is it's two walls of uh, metal in this case it's aluminum uh, but two walls of metal on there with a void in between um, that's just a much more rugged way to build it and like i said it's how we build car doors so i think it's pretty good technology all in all um, the roof we're not talking rubber we're not talking abs that's one that's been used in the past and cracked like crazy um, rubber needs to be treated we're talking aluminum it's a one piece no seam anywhere in that roof whatsoever a one piece aluminum that wraps over the top uh, we'll make sure tony gets a picture and he'll put it right about here uh, when he edits the video um, of the roof when, uh, on the on the pop-up when it's closed so um, neat things we can do with video there so uh, um, that's about it on the outside let's take a look on the inside Okay, one of the challenges on a, on a fold down or pop up, however you want to say it, uh, camper is uh, Tony and I are really stretched for space here. So uh, he's standing in the doorway right now, I'll be doing the filming from there. This is a 12 foot box, so it's actually a pretty good size pop up. No slide out on this particular one, um, but it's a well, well laid out piece. Now, the, the Chesapeake gives you a lot of space. This is for your more rugged camper. Um, this is something where you don't have every amenity on the planet in here. You don't have um, refrigerators and, and air conditioners and stuff like that. It is prepped for an air, so if you want to put one on, on, that's certainly something we can do but um, a lot of the hardcore pop-up people like to take these to a little more remote areas um, and do it in cooler weather where they don't necessarily need air conditioning so you're not paying for something you don't need um, first thing I noticed when I came in here I sat down on this bed this is a much firmer denser foam here um, it's thicker than most um, as well you can see the thickness there um, but the big thing is it's not that real flimsy foam that you see on a lot of products it's actually a uh, um, a good firm high density foam um, it does come with the awning by the way that's what's in this other box here and that goes on the outside uh, we we do assemble it for you of course if you decide to purchase this this unit does have a furnace in it so on cooler days like we're dealing with today it's it's perfectly fine um, you can see your stove is right here. This is a two burner suburban cooktop. You have a nice sink there as well. Um, this isn't one that's going to have all the like the hot water and all of that. This is a little more primitive than that. Now little things when you start talking construction, um, some of the things I like to look at here might be under here. Okay do this to any other pop-up you know what you're going to find under there you're going to find one by two wood stapled together um, okay that's fine for most uh, we sell that product as well um, but that's not what we're dealing with here that's not what you're paying a little bit extra for this is actually steel riveted together it's not going anywhere little things like these little uh, plastic rests on here that's solid by the way okay so that's solid underneath you're not just counting on a on a regular foam cushion sitting on a piece of luon literally most of these decks underneath there are an eighth inch thick piece of luon um, and a piece of foam sits on top of them and well hey it's lightweight and it's cheap not necessarily the best deck but this is a solid piece of like half inch plywood in there they put these little plastic things on there that locks in when you put this seat in place it keeps it from sliding out from under you that's the whole principle here those are the little things you're paying for with this your track system on here is is stainless steel and it, when you push the beds in and push it out it's nice before you buy a pop-up come set one up set, set up one of the regular pop-ups in the marketplace set up this one see which one sets up easier it's not going to be close it's not going to be a, a, a fair comparison you'll see the difference here like i said if you're looking for the lightest and you're looking for the cheapest this isn't it the, the, buy a palomino buy a rockwood buy a starcraft um and you know those are all fine products but that's not what you're comparing to here this is a really a step up from that so um i hope that makes sense as, as, as you're seeing the product it is a freestanding table you can take it inside or outside um, from in here you can see all that sunbrella all over the place that is the breathable fabric as, as we go around in here 
Um, we have two beds, two large beds. Uh, we have full on one end, looks like a king on the other um, on this. And beautiful little pop-up. So I hope that uh, helps you. Uh, like I said, I'm stepping outside my comfort zone. I'm sure that you hardcore uh, pop-up and fold-down people out there, I'm sure there's things I've missed. I apologize for that. Wanted you to be able to see this. If you have questions, don't hesitate to call me. Come in and take a look at this. I look forward to seeing you. Again, my name is Chris Anderson. I'm with Mount Comfort RV. Thanks for watching.